Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to The Spark is Love. So today we're going to talk all about diabetes and I'm challenging myself to keep it to five minutes, okay? So first things first, diabetes, right? There are three different types of diabetes according to the FDA, right? So I'm breaking down this flyer for you so you can really understand a little bit more about what it is and how to prevent it, okay? So Three types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is when your body does not produce insulin. Usually this is found early in life and you have to take insulin for the rest of your life, right? Type 2 diabetes, your body does make insulin, but it does not have enough or it does not use it well right? And type 3 diabetes, usually we call it gestational diabetes, and it's usually found in pregnant women. And during pregnancy, just during that period, they're going to need insulin to control their blood sugar. Now, all of this about insulin, what is insulin? Well, insulin Insulin is a hormone and the, it's a hormone that controls how much sugar or glucose is in your body. Now, glucose is important because it is needed for energy. So just like you put gas in a car to make it run, we put our body breaks down and whatever we eat to get glucose or energy so that we could function. Now, when the insulin is not working, not existence, or not enough, then our energy levels can dip and it actually can, it can really mess up not just our, our blood sugar, but it can mess up our kidneys, our eyes, our feet, because you have an enormous amount of sugar just sitting in your body and it, our cells cannot function in that environment. So this is why diabetes is very important, okay? So if you have diabetes, you probably already know this. You say, oh, okay, see, I already know this. Just a few tips I wanna share with you. When it comes to medication, every medication you take will have side effects. So whatever the side effect is, that is having you, if you feel as though this side effect is really bad and I need to stop taking this because it makes me feel bad, before you stop taking it, reach out to somebody, reach out to your provider, do a nurse consultation, right? Your diabetes educator and let them know what is going on with you. I'm gonna quickly cover some of the common diabetes medication and side effects. Okay, there are many on the market, but as a nurse, I'm just going to tell you the ones that I see frequently. Okay, so metformin or another name is glucophage, right? Now, what this does is that it stops your liver from making too much sugar. So your liver already produces sugar, right, when you need it, but it stops that action and it also helps to get the sugar into your cells so that your body could use it for energy. But some of the side effects of this medication, metformin, is diarrhea, indigestion, nausea, vomiting, gas, feeling weak, and having a headache. Okay, so you want to look out for that. Another medication that is common is called glucotrol or glispizide right? And sorry if I'm butchering the names, but what it does is it helps your body to make more insulin, right? So usually if you don't have enough, your doctor will prescribe this for you. And some of the common side effects is that your, bl your blood sugar could fall low. So hypoglycemia is a big one weight gain, headache, dizziness. So something I usually say is make sure you're taking this around meals. Don't take it on an empty stomach unless directed to do so, okay? And the last one I would talk about is Genuvia. And this actually helps your body to release more insulin, okay? And something you wanna look out for is upper respiratory infection and headaches. So for 
those who are diagnosed as diabetics or pre-diabetics, something I want to tell you is do not give up hope. You can control your sugar, diet, exercise, and asking the right questions. So when it comes down to medication, there are some questions that you just need to ask. Some of it are when you're getting a new medication, it doesn't matter what kind of medication, it could be over the counter cough syrup. You want to ask your doctor or your pharmacist, how will this medication affect my blood sugar? You also want to know how will this medication affect or interact with other medications I'm taking? What are some of the side effects of this medication? And what should I do if I start having side effects? If you are pregnant, you want to know how having and taking these medications will affect your pregnancy. And what else is there to know? Always, always, always ask, what else should I know about this disease or this medication? Okay, I say I was going to do five minutes, but I took eight. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful. Please leave in the comments, what are some things that you are doing proactively to care and control your blood sugar levels? You can do it. See you next time.